Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Brendan's video. I've got a little pooch down here wanting to say hello. Uh, oh, you can't see him. Well, you've got a little blue from the tail there. I am filming, well, I'm starting this vlog actually in the evening. We have had a delivery today of HelloFresh, so I thought I'd cook dinner with you tonight. And then it's my birthday. So I'm not really sure what we have planned. Probably a pretty chilled one. I might go over to my parents. I'm just not really sure. It's always a very chilled having a birthday at the start of January because everyone is kind of done with the festivities, me included. Going out for food, doing all of that, it's just like, you know, like over Christmas, you just constantly are just topping yourself up with food. To have a fresh new start, clean start, I actually want nothing more than just a fresh Hello fresh meal. So we're gonna cook tonight. I thought I would show you what we make. We are doing a, well I'll do some like overlays on screen actually so you can see as I talk through it. We're gonna do, let me get the card which I am going to do for tonight. Nice and fresh and wholesome whilst being one of the rapid quick recipes. This is the roasted chicken and creamy pesto sauce with buttered potatoes and cavolo nero. Get that green goodness in and also protein. That's something that I want to up this year. So when putting in my HelloFresh orders, I'm gonna be looking at the nutritional value. By the way, I haven't even said HelloFresh sponsoring today's video, thank you. But also, you guys know I love them. And if you don't know what it is, it's a food subscription service that delivers fresh food straight to your door. So if you're wanting to also incorporate some more healthy habits with the new year, the fresh new start, and you want to just cook some nice, fresh, wholesome family recipes, rapid recipes, whatever it may be, then I feel like HelloFresh is a great place to start, especially if you've never tried it before, because if you haven't, I have an amazing offer for you guys, which I will leave on screen. I'll also leave a little QR code here on screen so that you can simply click through if you're watching from a TV. I'll also leave a link in the description box below if you prefer. But essentially, my code, which is Freya6020, will get you 60% off your first box, 20% off the next two months, and you get some extra free gifts thrown in that too. So enjoy that. For me, more than anything, the convenience and the hassle-free element of knowing your food for the week is all sorted. You can decide how much you want. So you just get three meals a week for two people, for myself and Tom. So you can get more than that. Or if you've got more people in your family, you can up that. That's kind of suited to you and your needs but then also every week you can log on you can pick and choose your recipes super flexible as well because if for any reason you need to pause cancel any time you can do so especially if you're like maybe going away and you think well we don't need this food for the next couple of weeks just pause it until we get back it's really easy to do that you can also get loads of inspiration because that is one of the biggest questions that we ask ourselves when we don't have had a fresh it's what are we having for dinner tonight? For any newbies to HelloFresh, with this recipe in particular that I will share with you, you can obviously see that the cards that you get, the recipe cards, have a number on the top. The bag of food correspond is numbered and corresponds to the relative card for that recipe. You've also got a breakdown of all the ingredients on it. You've got the time that it takes to cook it so you've got a rough idea of how long you need to cook in advance for tea time and then on the reverse of the card you've got step-by-step -step instructions with imagery which makes it totally foolproof even for the novice in the kitchen like me also got on the other side the breakdown of the ingredients the nutritional value i just wanted something fresh and light and healthy and filling as well with the potatoes, buttered potatoes and yeah like i said i've been wanting to up my protein so that chicken breast Delicious, nice and fresh, great quality ingredients that honestly I can't fault. Yeah, hello fresh, thank you to them for working with me on today's video. Thank you also to them for giving you guys an amazing offer to take advantage of. I hope you enjoy the rest of what is my very relaxed and chilled birthday vlog slash what I got for my birthday, what I did for my birthday video. Enjoy. My birthday, I'm gonna cry if I cry. Is it? <coughs> is it cry if I want to? Yeah, cry. Yeah. It's not very good, is it? We've got Mr. Bunes in the back. Hi, Mr. Bunes. Hello. 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 Hello.
No one calls their dog by their actual name. Have you not seen that TikTok where they say, what's the name of your dog and what you actually call them and how you got there? <laughs> and it ends up being like, my dog Rupert is called Bruno or something like completely different. Well, here's our little boo names. Mr. Boo. Oh, Barney, what's that sigh for? We're gonna get out in a minute. So we've come to one of um, one of the. Oh, I'm a bit husky. <clears throat> one of the national trusts. It's called Lime Park. We've been here a few times before. It's a nice, nice little mooch around a beautiful estate grounds. We're gonna grab a coffee from the little, the little pizza and brunch place, like the little hut. Last time we came, they were doing a half marathon, weren't they? Mm. And one of the guys was saying that was a lot harder because of all the hills and everything than a flat marathon so yeah half marathon do you still reckon you'll get there i felt pretty shit the other day to be honest but i reckon that's more to do with um, was that a 10k yeah but i think it's more to do with just feeling a bit ill as well so yeah a bit under the weather so anyway my mum's gonna come over tonight because tom is going away tonight so i will have company with her this evening and then um yeah today we're just gonna go for a nice stroll Coffee and breakfast, that's the plans. Just chill the day, catch up on the traitors. Is anyone watching? Let me know if you are. Early January birthdays are always very chilled. I feel like anyone that has a birthday beginning of January just knows that it's either January sales shopping, so I might do some online shopping, um, and just to chill. You don't really want to go out, you don't really want to party, you don't really want to do anything like that because of all the festivities, New Year, Christmas, and all of that jazz. So it's just a chilled one, which is honestly, my favourite thing to Would do. Would you want to party if you had your birthday in June? Nope. <laughs> That's why it's the perfect excuse that, well, it's my birthday in January, you know. Although you did say you ought to have one, like a six month birthday. The Queen did one in June. June no, the Queen always, doesn't the, will the King not have one? A different birthday. I don't think so. Where the nation celebrates, it's not because she's born at Christmas. Yeah. The Queen. She, 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 was, she, she had was. two birthdays, but it wasn't because she was born it at was. Christmas. It was. Was it? It was, yeah. I don't, I'm not convinced. Isn't it April sort of time? Her fake birthday. Are you Googling it? Are you Googling it? Of course I Googling. Googly. No signal. No signal. All right. We'll have to uh, stay tuned on the answer to that. But anyway, let's get out. Let's get on a walk. And let's enjoy this semi-sunny weather, which is quite nice for my birthday. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, they? <laughs> Where are they? There they are. I bet they cake for later. <laughs> the sun is shining. Yeah. yeah, you've got to go to John Lewis though. <laughs> Put your tent shoes on then. You got them both? 
So we're all done with our walk. And it's already nearly half 12. So we've had a nice good couple of hours, few hours out in the fresh air. Feeling good. It's actually gorgeous weather today as well, which is nice. We're gonna head back via John Lewis. Tom's got a parcel to pick up and then he's got to pack for holiday slash work trip. It's not really holiday, is it? Not really. It'd be holiday if I was coming with you. We need to get a holiday booked actually, don't we, for March time. To get, a while. get a, a trip booked for March time. Do you want to go cold or do you want to go a while? We did cold in Finland, didn't we? I quite liked it though. I did too. I did too. Well, we've got I was surprised that I went Palmer to in June, July, because Tom's been taking some photos on his camera. I'll probably put them, some on my Instagram if you wanted to have a look already. Oh, cute. So we've just got back home. I picked these up from Sainsbury's and thought I'd share them with you because they're a perfect little dupe. We all love a dupe here on this channel. This is from um, obviously Habitat Sainsbury's but Zara Home do these colanders and I really want to have a good kitchen declutter reorganise at some point this year which I'm thinking maybe even one of my next videos might be like a pantry reorganize we'll see zara home do these colanders these lacquered i think they call them so there's the smaller one is 10.99 the large one is 19.99 and then i saw this set of two cream lacquered colanders from habitat for seven pounds for the two so i thought that was a bargain pop your little berries in here spaghetti pasta whatever in there also i was going to share with you some prezzies but my mum hasn't brought hers yet, so do I share them with you later, maybe? Yeah, I'll share those bits with you um, another time. But just bringing down my birthday cards. I'm going to put them downstairs. There are a couple up here that I opened in bed this morning. a brand new day first thing in the morning being quiet because my mum arrived last night and she's is still in bed we just had um, a very chilled evening which was lovely and I think the plan is to get ready and then we'll probably go for a walk it's dry at the minute thankfully um, so the plan is to maybe get up go for a walk mum will have back soon and I'll show you the bits I got for my birthday yesterday. Back to reality. Still got some birthday cake left over. Got plenty actually left over from yesterday. So I'll be eating that for the foreseeable. <laughs> that will be my breakfast, lunch and dinner. I think I might actually take my mum. I think we might just get like a little bakery breakfast for the walk. And that'll be the plan for today, this morning. So yeah, I'm just going to get ready in the snack. I'm going to do a little bit of my makeup that I'm wearing. I would quite like to try out some new bits actually, maybe in the next vlog. Yeah, in fact, yeah, let's do that. In an upcoming vlog, I'm going to have a play around with some new makeup bits that I got over the festive period so that I can... Um, Try them out, show them to you guys, let you know what I think. Um, I think today because the plan is just um just need to get some working bits done and just walk with my mum, that's about it. Um I'm probably just gonna be minimal makeup today, very like bare faced. So probably pretty boring for you guys to see. But yeah, let's go get ready. Let's get dressed, let's get a coffee down us, 
And let's go for a W-A-L-K. I can't quite say that word just yet because mum's not up yet and we're not ready to go. But very soon, he's looking at me like, is she saying what I think she's saying? We'll go in a minute. Bless him. Come say hello to everybody. Do you get bored of seeing Barney? I feel like only dog people will like seeing him. Kisses. Oh, thank you. Birthday kisses. And it's not my birthday anymore, but we're having a birthday month, aren't we? Might do some online shopping today. But do January sales shopping. I haven't even looked at what's in the sales yet. So, um, I'm inspired after doing a bit of a wardrobe clear out. Um, to just like kind of get a bit of a um, capsule wardrobe this year just really hone in on quality pieces and not so much trend led and maybe some more styling type videos especially on my instagram so yeah i'm gonna have a good look pinterest is a place that i go for inspiration instagram my favorite instagram people friends that i follow and know and you didn't scratch. Oh, is that nice? And they pull. <laughs> oh, is that a muddy pull? Might be a little bit muddy. Um, but yeah, that's the plan of action. The POA today. It's been you all along. But I've been too caught up to see it, baby We can have it all If I just could get myself together I'm not wasting another minute If it goes up in flames, I'll take the pain If I never try just forget it I'm done playing the waiting game I'm so done I'm all done playing the waiting game Baby like the stars I've been a million miles So my mum has just gone home and I thought I would take the opportunity before it gets too dark to just share with you the bits that I did get for my birthday yesterday. So let me just bring them over. First and foremost, Tom absolutely spoiled me and got me a matching Saint Laurent card holder to the Lulu bag that I've got. So it's in like a nice nude colour. I'll show it to you. It's really simple and pretty and so now I've got matching for that bag and matching for my other new bag that i got for christmas which is the one that i already had anyway my louis vuitton one but yeah how nice is this so comes in the little box and everything oh so fancy but yeah i really really like it i actually really love the kind of like pebble green effect to this finish but yeah same gold and nude to the lulu bag that i've got so it's a perfect little match my brother his fiance they got me this which honestly when i was opening it i was thinking if this is what i have been thinking i need to get a new one of amazing and it is so i've basically got and used in the past the bronzer that chanel do and i always think it's a lovely gift idea healthy glow bronzing cream and i believe they do two different shades of this that's how i tried this i thought i'd go for the darker one but honestly either works i don't know which one this is i feel like it's the original 390 whichever one that is how perfect does that look <gasps> honestly it's the most beautiful texture and i just get a kind of fluffy brush swirl it in and use it like i would a bronzer but especially if i'm having a minimal makeup day like today where i just put on a bit of like base rather than a foundation this just adds a bit of color like a really 
really gorgeous product to use. So I was so happy that I got a fresh one of those because my last one, I've not been using it because it's that old. I'm, I've kind of had it, but not been using it knowing that if I use it, it's too old and it might break me out. So I can just bin it now. Now I know I've got a fresh new one. I got a load of goodies from my parents. They absolutely spoiled me with some bits from the white company. There was one non-white company item, which I had mentioned around Christmas time and my mum, very kindly, mum and dad, got me the LMS Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm, which I really wanted to try this new scent that they do. Comes with a little cleansing cloth. But the they do like the rose one, which if I'm honest is my least favourite, just because I don't really like rose scented products. But they do the lemon one in the orangey yellow pot, which I love. And then they brought out around autumn time the fig, new fig scent. Um, green fig it's called. And it's so, oh it is lovely. I was saying to my mum, I was like, oh I don't know which one I prefer, this or the lemon. But it is really nice. So then from the white company we got, um, oh I thought that was a spider, it's just a bit of fluff. My, there's bits of like this black feather from New Year's Eve when I wore the Nadim Rabi feather jumpsuit if you saw my Instagram. Um, there's just little black feathers that I keep spotting everywhere. Anyway, um, to go with that cleansing balm, I got this um, little set of, I've seen these before, they're the little reusable skincare pads. So really nice to be able to just throw in the wash, use these over and over. Like I say, throw them in the wash when you're done with them, but they're just basically like a cleansing cloth, cleansing pad, a bit more sustainable option. And then also I'm excited to try this, never tried it before, but it's the charcoal cognac sponge. So it's kind of like an exfoliating sponge once wet that you can use with your, say your cleansing balm or body moisturizer, whatever, however you want to use it. But I've seen these are meant to be really nice for exfoliating your face. So I'm excited to give that a try. I also got, again, would be lovely in my bathroom, the Vervain large candle. This is like one of the luxury candles, the three wick, is it? I think it's three wick. Um, Verbena orange and lemon, really nice and fruity and zesty. Good for springtime. Oh yeah, so this also to go with that in my bathroom, I've got a matching set the hand wash and hand nail cream again in that same scent the vervain lead us into spring which will be here before we know it i'm sure and then there's one more bag in here again from the white company and this time with a mug in and if you saw white what i got my what i got for christmas a video they got me my parents got me the snowflake mug from the white company and this one, mum was like, you can have this out all year round with just the simple little love heart that they do. And I was like, perfect. A couple of other bits that I have been buying recently and things that I thought I would put to one side to share with you as well. These were kind of like birthday gifts from me to me. So I got a mini, one of my fave candles, the Dells with Palm Vine Tomato. I'm going to start burning this in our pantry. I want to do a pantry reorganized type video, which I might film like in a couple of days. So it might be my next video depending on how long it takes me to do. Um, so yeah, we'll get that burning in there. It's fresh new. I feel like it's kind of a treat to yourself if you've done an organizer or a clean, especially in a full room, and to just treat yourself at the end with a nice new candle is lovely. Lovely little treat. Anyway, I also treated myself to some Holland Cooper um, riding socks, and I just feel like they're a bit of luxury very unnecessary but just something that i feel like will be really nice to keep me encouraged like i've got a new um joggers and top set from aztec diamond i've got these and it's just something to encourage me to keep my riding up because i really do enjoy it and i think i might book in rather than a lesson next because i did two lessons in november into december and just to get my confidence back and I feel like I might book on for a hack next just to kind of go out and about on the horse I feel like I'll really enjoy that so anyway I got that I also got um this which I really wanted to try the new refi well it's not new new to me I've never tried this before this is their lip collection so you get a lip sculpt and a lip gloss in here and this is in the shade fawn which is a really nice like neutral brown shade this is the shade that I got a fawn 
really nice brown shade let me just swatch it a bit so you can see quite a dark deep brown actually really nice for again autumn and winter and then you get with it the lip gloss and this is just in clear so you can pop this on top of that which is how i always do my lips i just do lip liner with a lip balm or a lip gloss um and it's a really nice i have just tried this it's a really nice applicator it's like almost cold so i feel like and also quite wet looking this gloss and then i also saw that um i've been listening to the diary of a ceo podcast for a while now and it's just really motivating inspiring a really nice listen if you've yet to ever listen to Stephen Bartlett's podcast I'm actually jealous because you've got so many good episodes to listen to but they do this uh these conversation cards that I thought could be quite a nice addition to uh my vlogs maybe something that we can use as a bit of a cue card to chat about something open a conversation up in the comments so this is the first edition but also I got the second edition unlock deeper levels of connection which have new cards let's just pick one at random and one of the favorite closing tradition things that they do on the podcast is ask um the guest a question that the previous guest has left not knowing who they're leaving the question for and i just think that's a really oh okay so these are actually the questions so let's just do the jay shetty one because i feel like jay shetty's podcast is really good as well so his question that he left is if you were on your deathbed and could leave only one lesson behind what would it be oh okay so you've got on the back as well oh, this is brilliant i love this because this is my favorite part but about his podcast so on the back of the question card you've got a qr code which you can scan and listen to the um answer that the guest who had this question what like left so this was steve peter's answer um i love that level two so there's different levels as well anyway yeah if you were on your deathbed and could leave only one lesson behind what would it be i think for me it would be to chase your dreams rather than see things as unachievable to just go for it you only live once do whatever it is that you need to do to get to where you need to be in order to do what you want and just yeah chase your dreams that's what i would say what would your one lesson be let me know in the comments below it's a nice like dinner party thing as well to do um or like family thing but anyway moving on i got sent these actually so i thought i would show them to you but from the head plan collaborating with roxy nafusi they've sent me a notebook which will be a nice little new journal to have like just plain one and then this one 52 cards to support your manifesting journey which i'm all about i love this kind of stuff really want to read her second book which i've already got it's on my 2024 list of books i want to read um but yeah i've got all these cards 52 deck of cards they're not in any order i don't think but with it being 52 it's quite handy to maybe pick one at the start of every week maybe like a little monday tradition and just kind of use that as a bit of a cue card for the rest of your week so the first one is you don't have to do it you get to do it which is a really nice way of looking at something that maybe you don't want to do or that you're nervous about rather than thinking of it as i don't have to do this job this task or whatever i'm lucky enough to get to do this kind of in your mindset a little bit which i definitely need to tell my mind to do sometimes um shifting my mindset is one of the things that i've found most powerful throughout my like journey of self-discovery therapy sessions that i've had um last year yeah shifting mindset can be incredibly powerful but anyway i also got sent this i just thought it was quite a good idea it's called our bucket list adventures so it's something tom and i can do together as a couple plan your life dreams as a couple and celebrate your favorite memories so it's called our bucket list adventures for one how nice does the book actually look it's a linen cover with this green detailing really pretty and yeah we get to fill it out and complete it so the list where dreams become reality so using the following pages to bring your life goals into existence you can write the dream, the date that you've written it, whether it's a big or small goal, 
and why do we want to do this? Then what do we need to do to accomplish this? This is what I was saying to you from that answer. It's like, follow your dreams, trace your dreams. So the baby steps that you can do and then major steps to make in order to accomplish the dream, the date that you've accomplished it and any kind of like story behind it, which I think is lovely. What we learned from this experience, proof of victory so you can pop in a photo in there as well again sticking with the journaling and all of this kind of stuff for me january is the month to get these bits and this is one that i saw on tiktok shop that i just thought i'm going to treat myself to because i just feel like it's a really easy journal to follow when you're a bit caught up in your mind and you just want to get everything down on paper it's almost a bit of a release i find so this is called let it go a release the let it go journal so each page has a different question at the top so for instance this one that says where would you go and who would you become if you wanted to start a new life where nobody knows you and you can just jot down or this one what do you miss about your childhood write a specific experience or situation where you felt like you failed so even like the negatives to just get it on paper to let it go and have a bit of a release um yeah i thought that was great anyway Moving on, this is something that I ordered myself ages ago. It took so long to get here, but when it did, I was so happy. It's a mug that is personalised, that is gorgeous. So I decided to go for the dog mug that she does, where you get a few little paw prints dotted around on the outside. And then on the inside, there's a paw print at the bottom, and it's personalised with Barney. How adorable is that? I love this. Amazing. Okay, well, that was everything that I have got recently and that I got for my birthday I'll leave all of these items linked as well if any of you want to shop them I'll just leave them in the description box for you below so there we have it guys that was my birthday vlog I hope you guys enjoyed and I definitely want to be vlogging more throughout this year so any other content that you would like to see throughout this month throughout the rest of the year do let me know what is it that you like within my vlogs in particular and i will be sure to do more of them i also want to up the content over on my instagram so regular daily updates on my stories i want to chat to you guys more so if you're not following already over on my instagram be sure to do so thank you of course to hello fresh for kindly of sponsoring today's video don't forget to check them out by the link in my description box along with the qr code which i will leave on screen for you to shop through and take advantage of the offer which I have, Freya 6020, which will get you 60% off your first box, 20% off your next two months of boxes, and with free gri free well, free gifts, free gifts thrown in there too. So yeah, enjoy guys. I would highly recommend it if you haven't tried it already. So yeah, take advantage of that. Thanks to them for sponsoring today's video. Thanks to you guys for watching. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next one. Bye guys.